नमस्कार हार्टी वेलकम टू आल नॉलेज सीकर्स टू मई चानल दिस्ज डाक्टर मधुसूदन राव कड़प इन सम अदर वीडियो ई हेव एक्सप्लाइन दि बर्थ एंड डेथ प्रासेस इन ए क्यूइंग सिसम ना लेट हव ए क्विक लुक एट दि प्रासेस् दि बर्थ एंड डेथ प्रासेस् सपोज दि करे स्टेट इज जीरो दे with a new arrival that is with a birth the state may reach state 1 that means from 0 to 1 with a lambda not as the mean arrival rate here we have lambda not lambda 1 lambda 2 as the mean arrival rates of customers as the arrival rate is dependent on the state of the system similarly mu1 mu2 mu3 etc represent the mean service rate suppose the state is at 1 with one service completion the state will reach 0 that means there will be no customer in the system suppose the state is 2 with parameter mu2 the with a service completion the state will reach 2 to 1 so with a arrival the state tends from n to n plus 1 and with a service completion the state tends to n to n minus 1 this is with a birth and this is with a death that means a, a service completion so this is how the birth and death process has been explained uh, in earlier video and the balance equation suppose at any time t the current state is n for example if we take state 2 the system the queuing system will reach state 2 maybe from 1 or from 3 that is when the state is 1 with a arrival it may reach state 2 or when the state is 3 with a service completion it may reach state 2 that means having exactly two customers in the system similarly the rate at which system leaves the state is i mean here the possibility is that the state may move from 2 to 3 with an arrival or maybe 2 to 1 with a departure that is a, a service completion so the system will not be in a particular state infinitely it will be continuously entering leaving entering leaving entering leaving and so on so over a period of infinite length of time if you observe the rate at which the system is entering into a particular state is equal to the rate at which the system leaves the state n so that is the balance equation i have derived in uh, some other video and now just to recall i am explaining all these things now coming to the uh, professor little's formula here while studying any queuing system we come across four parameters queuing parameters like uh, expected number of customers in the system expected number of system uh, number of customers in the queue average waiting time or average time spent by a customer in the system and average time spent by a customer in the queue so these four parameters are important in describing a queuing system professor little has derived some expressions for this using this uh, rate in and rate out this, that is the balance equation which is uh, rate in equal to rate out now let us see how it works suppose the system is in state 0 from state 0 it will go to state 1 so rate out is lambda not suppose p not is the probability that the system is in state 0 p1 the probability that system is in state 1 p2 be the probability that system is in state 2 and so on now the rate at which the system enters state 0 is suppose the system is in state 1 with a service completion it will reach state 0 so with a parameter mu so mu1 into p1 this is the rate at which the system will enter the state 0 from state 1 which is equal to rate out suppose p0 p0 is the probability that the system is in state 0 and lambda not is the 
mean arrival rate than lambda naught p naught. So this is for state zero. Now coming to state one, the system will reach state one. There are two possibilities that is from zero to one with an arrival or two to one with a service completion. So we have for rate in it is lambda naught p naught plus mu two p two. This is equal to rate out. So the system leaves state one to zero or to two with a service completion or with a new arrival. So it is mu one p one plus rate out from state one is two mu one p one and. Uh, leaves state 1 to state 2 lambda 1 p1 so lambda naught p naught plus mu 2 p2 equal to mu 1 p1 plus lambda 1 p1 similarly for state 2 we can write rate in is from 1 to 2 that is a uh, lambda 1 p1 plus mu 3 p3 this is equal to rate out is mu 2 p2 plus lambda 2 p2 and so on like this we can write for all the states now let us take the first one mu 1 p1 equal to lambda naught p naught mu 1 p1 equal to lambda naught p naught this implies mu1 p1 minus lambda naught p naught is equal to 0. Now coming to the second expression here and from this we can get p1 in terms of lambda and mu. Now here we have p1 equal to lambda naught by mu1 into p naught. p naught is uh, very important because we will express all the probabilities that means probabilities of all states in terms of p naught that uh, we will see how the relations will be derived now coming to the second state uh, that is I mean uh, state 1 that is the second expression now here we have lambda naught p naught mu 1 p 1 now if we get these two to one side we have mu 2 p 2 minus lambda 1 p1 equal to 0 because mu 2 p2 minus lambda 1 p1 equal to mu 1 p1 minus lambda naught p naught which is equal to 0. So this implies p2 or you can write mu 2 p2 equal to lambda 1 p1 from this we get p2 equal to lambda 1 by mu 2 into p1 but p1 is lambda naught by mu1 into p naught then coming to the second state that is the third expression here we have mu3 p3 minus lambda2 p2 equal to mu2 p2 minus lambda 1 p1 but here as mu 2 p2 equal to lambda 1 p1 mu 2 p2 minus lambda 1 p1 equal to 0 this implies mu 2 p3 equal to lambda 2 p2 or otherwise we can write p3 equal to lambda 2 by mu 3 lambda 2 by mu 3 into p2 which is uh, lambda 1 by mu 2 into lambda naught by mu 1 into p naught now if we observe this pattern in which we are getting expressions for different state probabilities we can generalize and we can write for state n as here lambda n minus 1 lambda n minus 2 into and so on 
lambda 3 lambda 2 into lambda 1 into lambda naught by mu n mu n minus 1 into mu n minus 2 and so on mu 3 mu 2 mu 1 into e naught now we will get as many number of lambda terms in the numerator uh, the, those many number of mu terms in the denominator so this is how we can derive expression for different probabilities so general in general we can write pn equal to here this is lambda n minus 1 lambda n minus 2 into and so on there will be n such lambda terms in the numerator and n such mu terms in the denominator suppose if these lambdas that means uh, the uh, mean arrival rates and mean service rates mu are independent of the state then we can generalize that we can take a single lambda for mean arrival rate and a single mu without any suffix as a service rate in such case we can write pn equal to lambda by mu whole power n into p naught this is very important relation okay now i will erase because uh, i have to derive the expressions for ls lq ws and wq let us uh, we pause a small break okay now we have p1 p2 p3 and so on pn in terms of p naught lambda and mu now here we can write this ratio lambda by mu as rho power n into p naught so this is pn now let us derive the expressions for uh, average number of customers in the queuing system and average number of customers in the queue average waiting time of a customer in the system and average waiting time in queue now we have rho equal to lambda by mu and here we know that the sum of all probabilities that is uh, 0 to infinite states it is equal to 1 where n varies from 0 to infinite sum of the probabilities is equal to 1 now we can write like this we can replace pn by rho power n into p naught this is equal to 1 where n varies from 0 to infinite now we can write p naught as like this now this is sigma rho power n is 1 plus because as we substitute n equal to 0 the first term is 1 second term is rho rho square rho cube and so on this is the geometric progression and we know that the sum of the infinite terms in a geometric progression is 1 by 1 minus that variable that is the common ratio where this one is less than 1 here as rho equal to lambda by mu lambda means the mean arrival rate and mu is the mean service rate if the service rate is uh, small then the q will be exhausted in general the service rate should be high the denominator otherwise any q will be exploded if service rate is small so service rate should be greater than the arrival rate in any queuing system then only we can uh, provide service to all the customers whoever enters into the system so lambda is always less than mu for a single server model now as this one is less than 1 the ratio lambda by mu so we can write the sum of infinite terms is equal to this much so we can replace it with this term power minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus rho which is equal to 1 minus lambda by mu you can write so this is the expression for p naught now let us derive the expressions for 
expected number of customers in the queuing system ls expected number of customers in the queuing system includes the one who is in front of the window getting the service so ls equal to sigma n into pn where n varies from 0 to infinite that is 0 having 0 customers into p0 plus 1 customer into p1 2 custom plus 2 customers into p2 and so on this is the expected number of customers in the queuing system which is equal to here we can write sigma n into as a pn equal to we have rho power n into p0 where n varies from 0 to infinite and this p0 equal to 1 minus rho so we can write p0 that is the 1 minus rho into here the, this is n into rho power n we can write this as a rho into rho power n minus 1 of course n is to be there rho into sigma n into rho power n minus 1 where n varies from 0 to infinite now this is of the derivative form n into x to the power of n minus 1 we can write it as a derivative of x so we can write this one as 1 minus rho into rho into this is d by d rho of rho power n that is sigma rho power n where n varies from 0 to infinite. Now this is equal to 1 minus rho into rho into this term is as we know that the sum of infinite terms in a geometric progression is 1 by 1 minus rho. Now differentiating this we get 1 minus rho into rho into this is 1 by 1 minus rho square one term gets cancelled we get rho by 1 minus rho which is equal to lambda by mu by 1 minus lambda by mu so this is lambda by mu divided by here we, we can take uh, mu as LCM mu minus lambda by mu and this gets cancelled lambda by mu minus lambda this is the expression for LS so we have LS equal to lambda by mu minus lambda this is equation number one first expression next one is LQ that is expected number of customers in the queue LQ equal to LS minus lambda by mu so here we have to remove that means in a queuing system there will be number of customers now except the one who is getting the service all remaining customers are in the queue so while calculating the number of customers in the queue we should eliminate the one who is being served so ls minus lambda by mu this is equal to ls is lambda by mu minus lambda minus lambda by mu. so we get the denominator lcm like this and it is uh, mu lambda minus lambda mu minus uh, plus lambda square so we get lambda square by mu into mu minus lambda this is the expression for lq similarly expected time spent by a customer in the system denoted by ws this is equal to 
ls by lambda which is equal to here as we have ls equal to a lambda by mu minus lambda so it is 1 by mu minus lambda and similarly wq the waiting time of a customer in the queuing system wq is lq by lambda which is equal to here we have lq equal to lambda square by mu into mu minus lambda so when we get one lambda to this side we have lambda by mu into mu minus lambda so wq equal to lambda by mu into mu minus lambda so these are the expressions derived for a single server queuing model as per professor little that's why these expressions are called professor little's formula so this is how we can derive the expressions for the parameters queuing parameters ls lq ws and wq and uh, the expressions for these parameters will change depending on the type of queuing system so maybe depending on the number of uh, servers if it's a multi server model the expressions will be different similarly for uh, some other models like uh, a limited source model limited capacity model like that so for different models the expressions will vary so thank you very much in some other video i will explain the expressions for uh, different queuing parameters for different queuing models thank you very much